Villas and Cottages, a series of designs prepared for execution in the United States, by Calvert Vox is a seminal work that not only provides a visual feast of architectural designs but also serves as a profound commentary on the intersection of nature and human habitation. Published in the mid-19th century, the book encapsulates the spirit of the Romantic movement, reflecting a harmonious coexistence of the built environment with its natural surroundings. Vox, a prominent figure in American landscape architecture, collaborated with Frederick Law Olmsted in the design of Central Park in New York City. His approach to architecture, as depicted in Villas and Cottages, reveals a deep appreciation for the aesthetics of nature and a desire to integrate the man-made structures seamlessly into the landscape. One striking aspect of Vox's designs is the emphasis on individuality. In an era marked by industrialization and mass production, Vox champions the idea that each dwelling should be a unique expression of its owner. The book presents an array of designs that cater to various tastes and preferences, rejecting the uniformity that characterized many urban developments of the time. Through his diverse designs, Vox advocates for the celebration of personal identity in architecture, mirroring the broader societal shift towards individualism. The designs themselves are a captivating blend of Gothic, Italianate, and rustic influences. Vox's eclecticism is not a mere stylistic choice but a deliberate attempt to capture the diversity of the American landscape and its architectural heritage. By drawing inspiration from various historical and regional styles, Vox underscores the idea that architecture should be responsive to its cultural and environmental context. This approach aligns with the romantic notion that architecture should be an organic outgrowth of its surroundings, embodying a sense of place and belonging. The theme of harmony with nature permeates throughout the book. Vox's designs often incorporate extensive gardens, terraces, and open spaces, blurring the boundaries between the built environment and the natural world. This integration is not just aesthetic but also functional, as Vox envisions architecture as a mediator between humans and the surrounding landscape. In this vision, the home becomes a sanctuary where individuals can commune with nature, fostering a sense of well-being and spiritual connection. Vox's commitment to environmental sensitivity is particularly evident in his treatment of site planning. The careful consideration of topography, vegetation, and sunlight in each design reflects an awareness of the ecological impact of architecture. Instead of imposing structures onto the land, Vox proposes a thoughtful engagement with the site, allowing the natural features to inform and enhance the architectural composition. This ecological consciousness, ahead of its time, anticipates contemporary principles of sustainable and site-specific design. Furthermore, Villas and cottages can be seen as a reaction against the prevailing architectural trends of the time. As the Industrial Revolution ushered in an era of rapid urbanization and technological advancement, many architects prioritized functionality and efficiency over aesthetics. Vox's work, in contrast, champions a more holistic approach, arguing that architecture should not only serve practical needs but also elevate the human spirit through beauty and connection to nature. In conclusion, Calvert Vox's Villas and Cottages stands as a testament to the romantic ideals that swept through 19th-century America. Through a rich tapestry of architectural designs, Vox articulates a vision of architecture that is deeply rooted in nature, celebrates individuality, and reflects a profound understanding of the symbiotic relationship between the built environment and its surroundings. This work not only serves as a historical document of architectural thought but continues to resonate as a source of inspiration for those who seek a harmonious coexistence between human-made structures and the natural world.